Hello everyone, welcome back to another how-to video with Metronic. In this video, we will discuss on how we can globally change the fonts for Metronic. Um, so to do that, you first of course need to purchase and download Metronic, and once you've done all that, um, you should look something uh, like this. And all you have to do here is you need to run your yarn and your gulp and gulp build to build the, your disk folder, which basically looks uh, like this. And what we can do here is we can first try to uh, load or view how it looks like by default. All right, this is the default demo one for Metronic. And what we're going to do now is we are going to globally change this font to something else. So first off, we of course need to select our font. So let's just go to Google Fonts to pick a, a font type that we may want to change it to. Let's choose something that is totally different from what we already have here. So let's choose maybe this font here, Oswald. All right, and we just want to select this font. Once it's selected, we just need to grab this link, copy that. Um, but perhaps before we do that, let's look into our index file. So go to defaults, go to demo one, or it can be any other demo that you want. In this example, we go for demo one, go to your disk and open up your index. And what we need to do here is we need to look for the fonts. And in the fonts, we can see that Metronic is using Poppins and Roboto by default. And we need to note on these numbers. These are basically the um, like either the medium or the bold or semi bold and whatnot. So we go into Google Fonts, we customize it, and we take the numbers that is listed within Metronic. So we have 300, 400, 500, 600, and 700. So we go 3, 4, 5, 600, and 700. So we go for all that, and then we go back to the embed code and just grab everything. And not everything, the, the link uh, URL and replace it like so. Save our index. And the next thing we need to do is we need to update our uh, config file for the demo. So go to the source folder, go to assets, and then go to SAS and go to config. And then in here, you need to basically scroll all the way down until you, you come by this KT font families. And you can see here, Poppins is listed right here. So to globally change this, you just need to take the font family name, copy that, and replace it here. And then save that. And once that's done, what we need to do is we need to recompile Metronic and then uh, redeploy the assets. To do that, we go back to the demo one, go to the tools as usual, type in CMD to open the command prompt, and then run gulp. You can also run Webpack if you want. Uh, you just have to run uh, or type in npm um, run build and that should do it. All right, that's done. So let's go ahead and refresh our index.html. Just refresh this. All right, as you can see, Metronic is now loaded with the new font and it is basically everywhere or basically it's globally changed. So it's basically as simple as that. You just have to uh, first change the, or first select the font that you want, go to your index.html and replace the font from uh, whatever the, that Metronic is or whatever they're using to the new font that you want, and then go to the SAS config file and then switch it from there, recompile Metronic, and then you have your new fonts. Well, that's it for this quick how-to video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Give us a thumbs up if you like it and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel so the next time we release a new uh, how -to short how-to video like this, you get an update. Um, um, follow us on our social medias, so which is uh, our Facebook, Twitter, and whatnot. Links will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.